So we're just going to go through our regular TRX routine. Then we're going to add a few things in to open up the chest, the sternum. Remember we want the sternum to be floating. So we won't, don't want to have it caved in. So you think of caved in, then you think of Superman chest is when the rib cage goes back. That's the caved in when the shoulders are rolled forward. And then of course the Superman chest is when the, the rib cage is rolled forward and the sternum is open. So as we go through our regular TRX routine, it's gonna start off here. We're gonna sit down and back, fire up and through, pulling our chest towards the base. We're gonna do four to five of those, pulling ourselves up and through. And we're gonna split stance where we keep the front leg straight, pull up and through about three on one side, front leg straight, up and through. Then wide, we're gonna sit down and back, pull up, when we pull up, we're gonna lead with the sternum, down and back, lead with the sternum. That's gonna open the chest up as well as open the legs up. Remember now, we're gonna push our foot to the back, turn, open up the hips, step back, turn, open up the hips, all right? As we go to the side, same thing, we're gonna come, open up the chest by not allowing our foot to turn. Same thing on this side. Open up the chest by not allowing our foot to turn. Okay, once we get that, then we're gonna be here, forward lean, open up the chest, bring the shoulder blades together. Open up the chest, bring the shoulder blades together. Open up the chest, bring the shoulder blades together. Across, opening up the lats across opening up the lats all right so we do all these based on how tight we feel usually from three to five reps then we're going to get specific in the doorway of really focusing now on getting the chest to open up so we're going to start here we're going to put both arms and i want the elbows even i don't want the elbows down like this or too high I want the evil elbows even with the armpits. And we're just gonna put one foot forward, blow out, and just bounce there, getting forward, then the other side. Good. We're gonna do that back and forth until we feel things opening up. Then we're gonna go to the single arm. We're gonna have it here. We're gonna step forward and then turn and look away. So we're gonna take our head and turn our head back and away to get as much open of this as possible. So you can turn towards it and then exhale. As much as possible to open this up. Once you feel like you got it on that side, then you drop the arm and then do the same thing. Turn towards it, turn away. And you're gonna feel this into the bicep that attaches at the same place the pec does. So when we're here, we're stretching the pec. When we're here, we're stretching the pec and the bicep, more so the bicep and the front delt. Turn away and look. Go back and forth on both of those. Once you feel like you've got this stretched, then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to this bottom position. Now I'm gonna do a little bit deeper just to show you what I'm talking about. But we'll go to that bottom position where now we're gonna work on the stability, getting here, all right? Down, up, touch, open. Down, up, touch, open. And what that's working on is that stability. So if I was shaking like this, then I would know my shoulders aren't stable. But if I get like this, down, up, touch, open. I'm showing that stability. I'm not letting my shoulders, I'm not losing my shoulders. I'm keeping my shoulders packed the whole time. So if we go through that scenario of being able to open up those positions, then we're getting our chest into a place from here to here. So we're relaxing here, tightening here, and the shoulder is stable. Remember, 
When we collapse forward, we're always looking down. We just want to get a transfer of the rib cage here and this be a relaxed place so we can breathe and not pant. All right, hopefully this helps.